Sholot. Sholot was the Aztec god of lightning and fire in Aztec mythology. Those are the main things for which he is known. He is also considered the god of twins, diseases, deformities, guiding souls, and bad luck. He is the twin brother of Quetzalcoatl, one of the most famous gods in Aztec mythology. In Aztec mythology, who is Sholot? He is associated with dogs and the underworld, and overall, he has negative attributes. His name may even mean dog in Nahuatl. Sholotl's negative qualities are evident in the images that are associated with him. After looking at a primary source image of Sholotl, one would know he is a god one doesn't wish to anger. The Aztec God Sholotl's Tale of Woe This Aztec god appears in many different myths. One can find his name mentioned in many stories in various codices. While the many stories give us more information, the sheer number of them can confuse us as well. According to many myths, Quetzalcoatl and his brother Sholoth were both born in Quetlique. Her name means serpent skirt. Some stories state that she was a virgin, but she was also a goddess and the mother of other Aztec gods. Sholoth was connected to the dark side of Venus, giving him the name the god of fire, also called the evening star. While Quetzalcoatl became one of the suns slash worlds, Sholot was left behind and remembered for what he didn't do. In some myths, all the gods wanted to sacrifice themselves so that the human race could survive. Sholot might have been the executioner, killing off each god one at a time. Or was he waiting his turn for death? Either way, when it came time to give of himself, he refused. Some myths have him crying so much at the prospect of his sacrifice that his eyeballs fell out. That is why he is often depicted in art with empty eye sockets. Other myths portray him as a master shapeshifter. To escape his turn of being executed, he changed into a maze plant to hide. Then, as the gods were coming after him, he shifted again into an agave plant. Lastly, he turned into a salamander. It's unclear whether he was eventually caught and executed or not by a Hakit, the god of wind. Some tales state that he and Quetzalcoatl traveled to the underworld, or Mictlan. They went together to find bones. They used these bones to create new life from the old world and put it into the new world. The Aztecs might have considered that portion of the story the movement from night to day. Sholot guides the sun as it moves through the underworld at night. That way, it can go through the daytime sky once more once morning comes. As time moved on and one world fell after another, the fifth sun came into being. Similar to the myth involving Tonatu, the Aztec sun god, the sun refused to move. It declined to travel across the sky, and so the gods were puzzled. However, Xolotl's tale is not all sinister. He is significant in mythology, playing a key role. He is the guide to the sun. And because of his connection to the underworld, he was considered to be a soul guide. He would accompany recently deceased souls to their safe place in the underworld. Images and sculptures of dogs are often found in many tombs and grave sites. Those deceased wanted a guide to take them safely into the afterlife. The twins, Quetzalcoatl and Xolotl story. For the Aztecs, twins were seen as a kind of deformity, representing a negative duality. One would be light and the other darkness, so it is not surprising that one of the twins was killed at birth. It was done to protect her from the negative energy. This duality is no different than with Quetzalcoatl and Sholok. Sholok became the god of deformities. They are supposedly representations of the phases of Venus. Quetzalcoatl was the morning star and Sholok, the evening star. He became the dark twin or a representation of the murdered twin. This relationship was not unlike the relationship between Hades and Zeus. Some myths portray the brothers together, and others do not. It's unclear whether they are meant to have a positive or opposing relationship. Even in some legends, Xolotl is not exactly Quetzalcoatl's brother. He could be more like his canine companion. His image, how is the Aztec thunder god depicted? Xolotl's image depends on the primary source it's found in. However, he is most often portrayed as having a dog's head. 
since he is also the god of sickness and deformity, he too looks ill. Sholop will be created as a skeleton man with reversed feet. And he also has empty eye sockets. He might also be wearing a wind jewel, which is similar to a conch. Like other gods, he is often depicted wearing earrings, and he also has ragged, dog-like ears. The Dog Connection, Sholop, the Aztec Wolf God. For the Aztecs, the dog was not a positive creature. It was associated with all things dirty, diseased, and sinister. Therefore, it is no compliment that Sholop is depicted with a dog's head and considered a canine god. The name of the Mexican hairless dog, a very old breed, is Zoloitzquintli. Sholop is the embodiment of these negative characteristics. However, he also embodies other canine qualities, such as guarding and guiding. He protects and guides the sun through its nighttime journey. He also guides new dead souls to their next place in the afterlife. One of the creation myths states Sholalt didn't travel with his brother to collect bones. Sholalt went alone. Only this time, he was in dog form. He went to Miklan and found the bones of humans from an earlier world. On his journey out of the underworld, he broke some of the bones. But with what he had left, he used drops of his blood to create the next humans. Some other names for Sholok could be the animal or even the dog. Even though dogs were considered a negative in Aztec culture, they were helpful during the afterlife. Not only were dog sculptures found with various bodies and tombs, but so were dog remains. Dogs may have been filthy, immoral creatures, but they helped carry their masters to the afterlife. They would need to help their dead masters cross a deep river. Dogs could pull them along until they safely reached the other side. So, the Aztecs often performed ritual dog sacrifices. Then, the remains could lie with the deceased. These rituals and ideas are not unlike those of ancient Egypt. Pharaohs and other important people were buried with things that would assist them in their after-death journey. Sholot and the Mesoamerican ball game. Strangely, Sholot was also linked with the Mesoamerican ball game. It was a game and a sport, but also had ritual connotations. The indigenous cultures in Mexico still play a version of the game. The ball is made of rubber, and players would often use their hips to get the ball through stone hoops on the court's sides. Because Sholot guides the sun, he rules over the day, or Olin, meaning movement. In the world, Olin is represented by pulsating moving things. Examples of Olin are childbirth, earthquakes, wings, and ball playing. Therefore, the Aztecs connected Sholal to this ancient ball game.